Gen Z has done it again. Beating us at our own game. Am I sure this is a Gen Z idea? I'm not. Does it smell like one? It sure does. They're playing us like a fiddle. All asleep at the wheel to their sweet melodic tunes. They've ruined goldfish. Rebranding from goldfish to Chilean sea bass. Is this a joke? It is not. A temporary decision to boost sales by making the product seem more appealing to adults. In fact, Chilean sea bass actually used to be called the Patagonian toothfish. Really, that didn't have the same ring to it. The toothfish, now in cheddar. <laughs> cannot convince me that this was not some Gen Z intern that was like, I'm sorry, you're paying me how much? Okay, I have an idea then. <laughs> One in the room was like, stop the car. That's brilliant. <laughs> I have another handful of Chilean sea bass. Oh, oh. All accounts, this should be the dumbest idea that's ever been ideated. Instead, because I know it was a Gen Z intern, it is instead taken off. The internet has lost its mind. Fish fans love the ingenuity. Chilean sea bass fans finally get their moment in the sun slash ocean. <laughs> Like, surely there's no way. There's no way this is working. Oh, no, there's a way. It's been out of stock. It's impossible to find. You can't buy it. Said they'll be back in today, and then maybe again tomorrow. This thing runs through the end of the week. I'm telling you, this is going to be the most goldfish slash Chilean sea bass that have ever been sold in the history of sales. And I just know that there is a 20-year-old Connecticut woman majoring in mathematics right now that's like, hey, guys, guess what I did last weekend? <laughs> I had this wild idea that I threw out in a goldfish meeting as a joke. <laughs> Chilean sea bass. Family size. <laughs> Party pack. <laughs> hey, would you like an individually wrapped Chilean sea bass? I can't. Props to you, 20-year-old Connecticut woman major in mathematics.